Well, um, after I left, uh, after I left off, I, uh, I made some mushrooms, or, uh, processed some mushrooms, and, uh, yeah, so not a lot's happened. Uh, I went outside and came back in after processing some mushrooms, because I wanted to, uh, Eighty-two percent. That's pretty good. But here we are. Look at that. Uh, one day of rest, and he's at eighty percent. My goodness. Look at that. So, um, everything being done there. What I do want to do is. Like the first thing I want to make, of course, are the pants. Um, mostly because you can see the boots themselves, while not amazing, it's only one layer. Only be getting one and a half degrees of warmth out of uh, switching out the boots. Um, but with the pants, I will get two degrees of warmth, plus the protection so, if I'm going to make something first, of course, it's going to be that, and uh, probably mitts after that. I don't think I'll be able to make... Well, I might have the materials. Uh, no, I'll run out of gut. So I have one on me, I believe. None. No guts. So, what have we here? That is cured gut. That's, I'll have five cured gut. That's from the rabbit. It's almost cured itself. Oh. I'll take that. Well, now what do we have here? So that's four, and there will be two at the other place, so that's six cured gut. That's enough to make my... I can leave that for drying. I can go and make my pants and my bow if I wanted to. Okay. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Check, um, what do we have for weather out here? We have a very wonderful and clear day for walking, and I'm going to take advantage of that. I'd like to take it with me, but I cannot. Well, I could, but then I'd be a target. So, take our stuff, take all of our stuff, that's not going to smell, because I don't believe the pelts, fresh or not, um, I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. It's the worst when you're not even done picking up what he needs to get and he's already like wow that's a lot of stuff you've got oh look I found a workbench okay that's what I want one two three books for another one and a half kilograms so fresh gut curing 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 so there's a lot of fresh gut over on this end Yeah, you can really see that uh, false floor. Okay. Came, came inside to pick up stuff. And the game's like, hey, it looks like he's trying to go somewhere. Let's see. Oh, look at that. The sun's gone. 
and it is warmer. Well, I know it sounds, you know, not what you should get out of that, but uh, yeah, the sun's gone and it's warmer. That is a January, February thing, like, it's, it's, it's almost set in stone. So every time I want to go for a walk, I guess the, the weather is going to try to kill me. Yeah, if I had, um, a piece of, one, one piece of raw meat without even a stinky bar on me, that, that bear would be zooming right over here. Not zooming, moving at his slow bear pace over here. How badly am I over? I guess I won't be picking up more sticks. We've got lots of firewood. If I see a piece of coal, though, I'm not walking past it. I remember there were there was coal the last time I went walking out of here. Now it's like, do I go to Milton? And it's like, hmm, do I go to Milton unarmed? And like, uh, do I peek over this hill unarmed? I don't. There's places where there are wolves, and Milton has its share of wolves. It's like the town had some sort of one of those crazy, uh, you know, those cat people that like feed stray cats and stuff like that. It's like, oh, don't, don't do that unless you're trapping them to fix them. Because, man, they're just going to have more cats. But, uh, you know, there's, I wonder if there was somebody doing that with the Can't wolves my feet. in Milton. They were just, you know eating them and leaving dog food out and stuff. I mean, it is a nice gesture, but I don't think it's actually, you know, it's not really part of the, what you call the natural cycle of things. Put dog food out in the middle of the forest. Damn, I'm freezing. And unless your objective is to hunt raccoons, you know, just don't put dog food in the forest. That's my advice. I just, I've just, I mean, I've, I've seen that. That's all. I've been out walking on trails and seen big you know, piles of dog food. I kind of wonder about that. Right now. But then again, you know what? Actually, that could have been a. Uh, it's actually a really clever way to get animals to eat rabies vaccine, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna stop talking right now. I just talked myself out of my own argument. Shows you how much conviction I got. Huh. No, it's just I, I usually think of something, and then I usually think of, well, why would that be so? And sometimes I can come up with a pretty good, quick reason. And yeah, all of a sudden it makes sense. Of course they'd hand it, you know, what's the animal more likely to have rabies, right? Carnivores. Namely, foxes and uh, raccoons. And even uh, foxes more so than raccoons, because raccoons, they can climb trees and memorize three-digit codes and stuff. They're, they're scary. The guy I worked with, um, he had a, a raccoon problem. Or no, his dad. It was his dad had a raccoon problem. Uh, way up north. And uh, he had... Uh, two refrigerators and one of them was outside and the raccoons kept breaking into the outside refrigerator and so he got a uh, he got a different fridge with a latch and it only took them a few days to figure out the latch uh, and then he <laughs> then he because he's an old fella he got a rope and he tied the rope around the refrigerator and uh, he heard a noise, so he comes up and he looks, and and the raccoon is standing on its hind legs like a person would be, and it's got it's not gnawing through the rope like you think it would. 
it's working on the knot. <laughs> and it looks up at him like, what, 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 I'm working on a knot here. What do you want? Somebody tied my fridge shut, you know? Oh. Raccoons are the best. And there's a reason why we've never domesticated them either. They're, because they're raccoons. They're... It's not like cats or dogs where they're just kind of, you know, they're okay with living with us. Raccoons like to hibernate and stuff. Yeah, I actually, you know, I knew another guy who had a raccoon. Who actually had a raccoon, a tame one. Got it when it was a baby. Die. Food soon. And uh, eventually it uh, found a spot in his house, curled up, went to sleep for like weeks on end, woke up, and then he had a wild raccoon living in his house. So. It's kind of funny, you don't realize how, how unique your experiences in life or the, the people you know in a rural area, you always figure eh, it's always boring and nothing ever happens here. But the thing is, too, um, some of the most unexpected things happen, and the reaction is usually, uh, <laughs> weird stuff happens. It's like, yeah, but it's exciting. I mean, you know, I mean, how exciting would 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 it? would it be to wake up one day and have one of your pets gone completely feral in your living room? Like, what do you do, right? And it's a raccoon, too, and he fed it well, so... It was a beast. Okay, cool. So, while I'm here, what I can do is... I'll go over here and drop this stuff. So, I'm going to take some time today, make some pants, and cure up some stuff. Um, okay, a couple of things. Stash. Um... Pack of matches and the better fire striker can go in there. It's not really because I'm worried about the weight. It's, uh, we just like to kind of save some stuff like that. I don't want to be using the twin fire strikers all the way down to nothing. I'd rather burn through one first. I know it doesn't really matter, but. Okay, so a little bit of water on them. Okay, so we got to get these fresh items dropped. fifty nine percent on those fresh deer hide get that down fresh deer hides another one and then these are cured so I've got four two And stuff will come in handy. Yes, it will. And we've got two more cured gut here for the for the bow. Good. Good. So what I'm gonna to do, the plan is for of course the day is to um make pants. So I'll make pants and then uh we'll uh we'll see after that. Because I'm gonna make pants and then go fishing. It's not very exciting, but it'll uh, give me the food I need um, to get through. Also, I'm going to check out the, uh, you know, the little cabins around the area, too. I can't go hunting yet, so. And who knows, the wolves might totally, totally mess with me, too, so. All right, well, we'll see you in a little bit. It'll be, yeah, because all I'm going to do is work on pants and, and drink and eat cattails. And not even eat cattails very much. So, not much is going to happen here. Um, so, I figured I might as well 
let you guys off the hook and you don't even have to skip this part but when I come back I, it'll be probably yeah it'll be tomorrow maybe even around this time so today it is day 16 and I'm about to make some pants so deer pants away all right well I will see you in a little bit all right back with new deerskin pants look at that warmth warmth bonus just jumping right up it's 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 getting time everything's kind of lagging behind as soon as it gets to about 30 percent of course that's when i like to work on things so made myself some pants now to get some fishing tackle because I am completely out of food. Where are you going to be? Hour and 30. Two hours by hand. That's a long time for four pieces of wood. Let's just see what we've got out here. We've got really, really nice weather for starting a fire. Okay. Well, this is actually uh, now. I've, I hope that I've been able to show a little bit of sort of, uh, I guess, nomadic uh, gameplay. Oh, look! It's I'm not going fishing. Don't run them off over there. See, now I'm having to walk further for my dinner than I wanted to. Ah, you know what? He's going to be busy. And now because I picked five cattails, if, uh... The whole thing went went bust on me here, and I wasn't able to catch a single fish. I'd still have enough food to get through one more day. You're supposed to be hunting deer. Yeah, darn it. Now he spotted me. So today I'm not going to fish to the point of exhaustion or anything like that. I don't really have a lot of fuel to be burning for a whole lot of fishing. I should be able to catch a couple. Um, fill up my uh, fill up my belly, and then um, that in turn will help you give me enough calories to make that bow tomorrow. And then the bow is going to give me all sorts of calories, or at least I hope the bow gives me all sorts of calories. There's been a reason why I'm lugging that big thing around, and this is this is it right here. So I've seen my first wolves, and I gotta say, 
They're just as unpredictable as always. I mean, they're weird because they're predictable, but they're not very predictable. Well, I, ex I expected those guys to fully be going after that deer and not to be worrying about some dude. Me being that dude. And, uh, what we got here? A couple, well, no, nah, just one piece of coal. So if a blizzard comes, hey, bud. Come on, give me a bass. Okay, I'll take that. Like I was going to say, if, if a blizzard comes and it gets insanely Might have cold, to drop some gear. It won't be, like, stuck here forever. Come on. Oh, third fish would be a wonderful thing. Okay. So. Cedar. Full. Piece of reclaimed. A few more sticks. Um... Normally I'd like to just drop the fish and then turn around and keep on fishing, but uh, he's starving. still out there in that weather. That's why I think it's it's awful, you know, when you're uh, in this game. It's pretty, pretty awful to be a human. Because the rabbits are, are, are a lot better outfitting. around doing rabbit stuff okay so okay so that is three hours all right well let's do that Perfect. So his stomach's growling, and I'm thinking, well, then catch a fish, man. Perfect. So we got an hour on this thing. It's getting tired. That's good. That's good. You know, I am curious as to how I'm going to get out of here. I mean, I'm sure you are too, but I... I don't know. Some smallmouth? Yes. Yep. Eat it all. fire going. A little bit more water styled up here for myself. Actually... She's going. Both of them? Nah. Oh, 
All right. And now we're committed. Ah, they're bloody right in front of me. Was it the wolves? Well, tonight I do not get to sleep. Mystery Lake. Hey, look, it's a pry bar for smashing open uh, holes and ice. So that's decent. So if I meet a guy, you know, what little chance I have with the torch, I have that chance, right? Because once the aurora hits, they're not afraid of uh, fire anymore, which is um, pretty tough. Oh, all three of these are standing. Hmm. Well, that's kind of neat. Don't get your hopes up, buddy. But you might find... some chocolate or something in here. my torch. Okay. All right. So, I'll take a top up of this uh, lovely water. Nine hours of rest it is. Let's see if this easy-going lifestyle I've adapted over the last two days has paid off. I think it has. I think it has. Let's see here. Is he truly, truly, he's 100%. He I'm hasn't... Use a drink. Well, oh, okay. Sorry, man. I was getting all excited there. Um... He hasn't felt this good since the second he he landed in this horrible place. So so that's that's encouraging. This will come in handy. Well, yeah, actually, I really like. Uh, used to never even really pick them up, but now with that huge boost on the oh, there you are. Look at that. Some soda. So basically all I did really was fish to survive for a day. You know. I did spend a significant amount of time outside. Are you back here? I guess it's kind of to balance out the pants, but, um, I mean, really, fishing is your, it's a great way to kill, I think it's the best way to kill cabin fever, if you can manage it. You know, and when you get that risk of cabin fever, turn around and... This stuff will come in handy. Sorry. Yeah, when the risk of uh, cabin fever actually starts, 
I really like those work boots. They're 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 tops. They're the best footwear I think you can find. Um Yeah, well, boots. I guess I won some boots. Yeah, when you're about to, you know, and it's like a risk of cabin fever and you got 30% chance of cabin fever, but you've got no wood. Break down a table, break down a chair. Get that cabin fever risk up to 70%. You're going to have to spend time outside anyway, right? And uh, pick up some sticks and uh, go for a... Uh, go for some time fishing, you know? And if you have a bedroll, you can ignore cabin fever pretty much. The only thing it really gets in the way of... I should have dropped those books. That's why I'm so heavy. The only thing that cabin fever really gets in the way of is your research. So you can go fishing. Heck, you can fashion yourself some pants with cabin fever. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't, it doesn't stop you from doing much, so... Yeah, you know, it's the reaction of, I gotta go outside. It's like, nah, not really. You have to sleep outside. So. Then all of a sudden you have your whole day to plan. Well. Again, Metallica mixtape. Guaranteed. Oh, you know what? It's probably CCR because it's a cabin. I guess for me, camping in CCR, this is just it's the way she goes. All right. All right. Here we go. Is he back over here? Hello. I should have heard him by now. He's not here, so that's I'm okay with that. Who's print? All right, we'll get you inside here. Hope there's a note on the ground outside. Hopefully I don't forget all about it. Oh! Just saw it out of the corner of my eye there. Candy bar. That is nice. I will take it. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to just uh, take a moment, pass some time. Go see about that last cabin. I always thought there was cattails here. Guess there is not.
I totally forgot that note. Now I know it sounds crazy. What are you doing, man? There's a there's a cottage right there. The thing is, there's a bear cave here, and if he's not out here, that's good. I'm gonna run over here real quick then and check this cabin out. Are you are you in here? No, you're not. But we have a whetstone, which those are those are beautiful. Actually, I just saw somebody um, go up to that lookout. I need to drop something. Um, in Coastal Highway. And uh, there was a whetstone up there. So, one of my longer lived characters is going to run on over to. Uh, looks like he, she's going to have to make a tour to uh, Coastal Highway. Because. I mean, she has still has five whetstones, but uh, and, you know it's funny is is I'll go a place and uh, with the intention of fighting three or four wolves, but other places I won't go because there's a wolf there, and I think it's because the way the, the geography is set up and stuff, you end up. Usually, you know, so there's times where it's like out here you can get into it with four wolves and everybody's kind of taking turns like a, like a Steven Seagal movie, you know, and you're beating all the bad guys up. And this one is just like you're fighting in a phone booth with a wolf. It's, you can't really, you know, really do much about that. So, there's a couple areas I don't I use this. And that, uh, lookout has got that weird little slot to it now I was there on my stalker I went up that way on my stalker run and didn't run into the wolf like I I gotta say I really like that about this game is the whole you know the unexpected attack and then sometimes the unexpected peaceful walk you just get to go for a walk I've been talking through this entire thing and found nothing really absolutely nothing right huh. well ah colder no he's got to go I'm sorry but maybe hanging out in here this is a bear standing right there. Okay, so this is our last fishing hut. Of course, I do a nice brisk oh, walk into the wind. I bet you. there. still out there. And it's a little windy for me to be starting to fire to get them to to, to run off. So That feather is actually how I found this guy. I would have never noticed him. There's another guy. And he was buried. Just his feet stick out. And he's on Coastal Highway at the Tooth.
Ugh. Oh, wolves. Okay, well then. That's enough condition loss. So, not to mess with his sleep schedule, we're just going to pass time for an hour. Now he's basically all out of calories again. Getting tired. I need to find food. We actually have found a lot of food recently. You're doing okay. I'm just not sharing that food with you. So I'm going to head back now, make my bow, and uh, we should be good to go from this point forward. There's that little climb up there I want to do, but uh, you got to do that fully rested. And i um, got to get over there. Over there? No, over there. And um, check... Uh, that hunting blind for a bedroll. There. As soon as I get the bedroll, my entire world opens up and I can do all sorts of crazy things. So. a bit of a walk back into this corner to see what's up. Um, usually there's nothing. Sometimes there's a, a corpse and sometimes there's firewood, a backpack, and then sometimes there's just some uh, rocks laying on the ground. So you never know what you're going to get. You never know. Now, I could actually foot it at this point, up here. Um, it was, uh... Dr. Cyclops there. Yeah, he's the guy who showed me that one. That's the thing, and no matter how many hours you play, it does pay to watch somebody else play. And even... Sometimes you can be sit there, uh, he's sitting there going, wait, go inside or, or, or light a fire or, you know, at the screen and stuff. But you're still learning, actually, even if the guy you're watching, you're like, oh, no, you're killing yourself again, right? But I'm sure there's lots of people who watch me going, I wouldn't have done that. So hungry. Because when I'm editing, I actually look at what I'm doing and I'm like, why am I doing this? Because, you know, it's, uh... What is it? Uh, 2020 vision sort of thing, I guess. In retrospect, always, I guess, would be your... Hindsight's perfect, I guess. But, uh, yeah. You learn, you know, sometimes you learn what's where. Like, I, I've seen guys who who didn't last two days, but they showed me where um, possible birch spawns were. You know, the guy survived, I think, something like uh, just over 70 hours, I think, was his interloper run. But I found, but he discovered for me a bear patrol route I didn't know was there, and a, uh, 
and uh, some saplings. So, you, know, you can always learn something from anybody. It's amazing. We live in a big world. So, let's see. Is it, yeah, sometimes if there's a dead person here on a lower level, of course, you'll find a, uh, a rifle. Another outdoor rifle location, just in case. I think I need to lay down. Yeah, my, my outdoor stalker run was pretty well planned. I mean, I had I had really thought that with just the bedroll and uh, the stalker weather settings that I'd be able to easily survive just in the outdoors. And it's actually, that one's a tough one too. Like, that, that I think it's a guy. Is he he's doing he's doing okay now up on Timberwolf but I'm still kind of debating as to whether or not I go climbing back up to the top of the mountain and grab I think I'm going to actually go back to the summit and pick up all the things I can and then walk down to the fishing hut okay well my sapling make a bow should be finished now so how much did we lose out there on there seven percent jeez there it is right there could end up being useful see now I've got enough to make um, boots but I really don't want to well I mean I don't want to, but the ten percent protection versus seven percent protection. I would do anything for a drink right now. And then these things go up to two degrees for when they're perfect. So I mean, really, and he's thirsty. You've got a can of soda and and a chocolate bar. Of like you have junk food. That is so neat. I need to find antibiotics. I think that's really what's important. All right. Well, so I'm gonna end her off here. I'm gonna be making a bow. That's. You're full on with water, right? Okay, good. I'm gonna make a bow, and uh, I'll see you next episode when we uh, start using that bow to kill stuff. We'll go five hours on that. Oops, five hours with the knife. Now it won't let you craft after dark. Thing is making me feel really tired. Well, it did. Yeah, it requires light to craft suddenly. So now I've got two hours. So tomorrow in the morning, I'll wake up and uh, finish my bow, do a couple arrows, and go hunting. So things are gonna work out for this guy. I think. I think he's okay. Important, I'd have him make his uh, deerskin boots, but I've got uh, good enough boots for the meantime. Okay, brief interruption there. Okay, so 
So tomorrow some bow making and everything else like that. And the guy just, okay, well, he took a bit of a beating making the bow because he did it while starving. And exhausted. But we'll, uh, we'll get him some food and some, some, some water here and uh, hydrate him and send him to bed. And uh, tomorrow in the morning, he'll finish his bow, go hunting. Of course, make, uh, make, maybe make a fire by that deer that he gets. So, all right. Well, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. And uh, until then, yeah, keep surviving. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.